It's the mother of all moves, with 20,000 soldiers working on the biggest withdrawal of troops and equipment since Vietnam. During seven years of war, the U.S. military has shipped more than a million tons of equipment into Iraq, and that's everything from tanks to toothpicks. Now the gigantic logistical operation to pull it all out again is underway. For a start, more than 40,000 vehicles, four, six, and eight wheelers have to be driven out of the country. Moving all this hardware isn't cheap. The withdrawal is projected to cost more than $150 billion. So the military wants to collect up and reuse as much as it can, right down to what shows up in the so-called amnesty yard, where troops can dump unwanted equipment, no questions asked. There was a dog kennel. Yes, ma'am. You, you didn't know that was in there? No, ma'am. Here you have doors. For a vehicle. Poppers. This doors is all vehicle. For a vehicle. Yeah, vehicle right. parts, vehicle doors. Put this up Chief this. Anthony Potenzoni is an army logistician. He helps to decide what to do with this $3 billion avalanche of gear. What gets junked, what gets sent on to the war in Afghanistan, and what goes home. Ooh, a mess. Yes. But this stuff is all serviceable mostly. Um, you have brand new air conditioning heating units. Between here and Afghanistan, this, this stuff could be, be utilized. Which is more than you can say for some of the things they've had to get rid of, like a container full of snow boots and gerbil cages. Somebody must have ordered them. They may have been for maybe a school. But the gerbil Army d didn't need gerbil cages. No, like, no, you didn't we... put those back into the system. <laughs> no, but we, we do, do find homes for them. In the logistics headquarters, computers give a bird's eye view of what's moving where. If you look on here, there's more than one road improvement. On any given day, there are 4,500 trucks on the road, traveling in huge convoys, equipped with electronic tags so they're visible on screen. Combat gear bound for Afghanistan gets priority. The rest, moving at night to maintain a low profile, goes to ports in Kuwait or Amman for shipping home. Slowly, the U.S. military is erasing its presence. This base in eastern Iraq is one of the 280 due to be handed over to the Iraqi army soon. First Lieutenant Robert McGrath is doing a final check. The sniper shade, make sure that that doesn't go. Only weeks ago, a mountain of scrap metal, lumber and waste oil covered this field. Now it's all gone. But U.S. commanders are authorized to leave up to $30 million worth of gear per base behind so the Iraqis can move right in. That means barracks, office furniture and curtains, and even the gym. Above all, the U.S. military is determined to make a graceful exit from Iraq. Like, hey, we're done, we're gone. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Joint Base Balad, Iraq.